Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today, I have a very crazy video for you guys. And this video is not a joke. You read the title correctly. I have made $40,209,678 in one day on GT Online. This is the most amount of in-game money that I have ever made in one day on GTA. And in this video, you will see me selling five full large CEO crate warehouses, 555 crates in total, four special crates, a full document forgery, full weed, full counterfeit cash, full meth, full coke, almost full nightclub, full hangar, and full bunker. You will see all of that and get this in a full 30 player lobby for max bonus. This is when it was double money a few days back when we had that really crazy double money event week. And I don't know if this is a world record, but if it's not a world record, it's pretty close. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. And thank you everybody who helped with this video. Thank you everybody who helped make this possible. Thank you Saucer Cats, Timmy95, Emily's Man, Abbott Cool Guy, Star Killer, TJ, Overboard YT, Pilot Charles, and anybody else who helped with it. Thank you guys. The crates took about basically five days to source. All the other passive businesses, basically about a day to produce with the supplies. And the hangar, about two to three days to fill up. And also, we're going to be selling four top range cars. So enough of me talking. Let's get this video started. I hope that you guys enjoy this. So starting off here, we are going to be selling four top range cars. Going to choose all of them here and deliver. And when I delivered the car, something crazy happened here. Take a look at this, guys. Right when we delivered the cars, we delivered them to the drop-off point to this house near Chumash. What happened is some idiot decided to orbital cannon us right afterwards. He missed the delivery by just a few seconds. So we got really lucky here. And this idiot, he failed with his orbital cannon. What a fail on his part. He didn't do the orbital cannon glitch. At least he paid for it, but still massive failure on his part. So moving on, we're going to be selling four special crates from the crate warehouse. And these are different than the standard crates. These are rare crates that spawn. So we have the egg there. We have the golden minigun. And we have the large diamond. And we also have the Yeti, I believe. So we're going to be selling this. Let's see how much we get for this. All special items, $960,000. Sell that. Deliver this here. The special special crates, you don't really get a bonus for those. There's no percent bonus. So whatever it says, that's the max that you can get. So we got $960,000. Nice. Okay, let's move on to the first large crate warehouse. We're at the first large crate warehouse, and this warehouse is stocked with 111 crates. This took a lot of missions to do. We did three crates at a time. So now, let's sell this. Let's go up to the computer, and let's check. And this should be selling for $4,400,000. Also, you want to check for anybody in their facilities when you're making sales like this, because all it takes is one griefer to ruin it. But let's see right here. Yep, $4,400,000. $40,000 right there. That is double from $2,200,000 previously with the uh, regular amounts on the money. Delivered it here. And look at that. We got $5,505,000 because of 1% bonus. We got $44,000 per player in that lobby. We made a $1,100,000 bonus. Nice. Okay. We're moving on to large crate warehouse number two, selling 111 crates again. Let's get on the computer. Selling it again for $4,440,000 making the delivery here, and we got $5,550,000, nice. $1,100,000 bonus again. Let's move on to large crate warehouse number three. We're at $12 million so far. Let's get on over to our computer, Let's see what we're at. $12 million already in cash, and we also have $400,000 from the import export, so we gotta keep that in mind. Okay, let's sell it here. And on this one, we got the tugboat mission. The tugboat mission, I actually prefer that for the um, CEO crates because it's the most simplest. You just take one boat, you take it to drop off. And we got $5,550,000. Look at that, $17,570,000. But we also have $400,000 in the bank from those four top range cars. Okay, moving on right here to large crate warehouse number four. Let's get on our computer, selling it for $4,440,000 again. Make the delivery here covering the plane. Also, if you activate flight formation on these missions, you can actually make, make the Titan fly a lot faster if you're in a much faster aircraft. Made the delivery there, $5,550,000. We're at $23,120,545 plus $400,000 in the bank. And we're moving on to our final large crate warehouse. Selling 111 crates again. We make the delivery and we get $5,000,000 five hundred and seventeen thousand forty seven dollars nice 
Okay, so that's all five warehouses sold plus the special crates. Now let's move on to selling the full bunker. Again, double money on bunker as well. So instead of the bunker selling for $700,000 and $1,050,000 in the city, it's selling for $1,400,000 and selling in the city for $2,100,000. That's a $21,000 bonus per player. We make the drops here. And instead of getting $2,100,000, we get about $2,000,000. Five hundred twenty thousand dollars. Nice. That is a four hundred twenty thousand dollar bonus we made there. So in these lobbies, it's kind of worth it to sell in these populated lobbies because you get a big bonus back. And if some idiot tries to destroy your stuff, just close your application or find a new session, and you'll still keep the majority of it. So moving on here, we're going to be selling full hangar, and we're selling fifty crates of narcotics. And hangar has a very very unique um, uh, money event for this previous week. And what it was was triple money on smugglers run hangers. I wish they would keep this money because it would encourage people to do hangar a lot more. But this was just great triple money on hangar. I've never seen something like this before. Hopefully more businesses are triple money in the future. So we're selling our hangar here, selling it for two million five hundred fifty thousand dollars. That is going to be a twenty five thousand dollar bonus per player. Selling in a full 30 player lobby. Let's make the deliveries here. Had the Hunter mission, fly away. And instead of getting $2,500,000, we got $3,150,000. Wow, look at that. That is about a $600,000 bonus. Nice. Okay, moving on now, we're going to be going towards our MC businesses. And the first MC business that we're going to be selling is we're going to be selling document forgery. These MC businesses we bought supplies for, we allowed them to produce in the meantime. So Document Forgery is going to be selling for double, and it's going to be selling for $252,000. That is going to be a $2,520 bonus per player. Instead of getting $252,000, we got $315,000 back. Nice. Okay, now we're moving on to our weed business, selling weed next, full weed business. Let's go on the computer. Let's see how much this is valued at. And it's valued at $504,000. That is going to be a $5,000 bonus per player. And we also got the boat mission, so we got a little bit more money. And we got... Look at that, $654,000. That is a $150,000 bonus. We're doing pretty well at these sales. We're already at $31,787,000 there, and we also have a ton of money in the bank. So let's move on to our third business, counterfeit cash now. Let's sell that. Selling full counterfeit cash with double money, $588,000. That is going to be a $5,880 bonus per player, and we got $729,000 back. Nice. We're doing really well at these bonuses. So again, guys, it is worth selling in these lobbies because you get massive bonuses back, especially with double money. And if somebody tries to blow up your stuff, just close your application. You still keep the majority of it. Now we're moving on. We're going to be selling cocaine here. And the reason we're selling cocaine before meth is because I tried to sell meth before. And there was kind of an incident with meth where the garbage truck glitched out. So we're moving on to selling cocaine first, still letting meth produce a little bit more. So instead of $840,000, we got $1,000,000. $33,000 back. Look at that. That's almost a $200,000 bonus. Okay, so now we're going to be selling the nightclub while meth produces two crates because I had the mission with the garbage truck with meth and what happened was it wasn't registering it so I had to leave the session, get back in, lost two crates there, letting it produce in the meantime. So we're going to be picking up $13,000 right there from the um, nightclub safe. And also let's, um, let's sell the nightclub. Let's see how much it's valued at. Did a ton of business battles, let this thing produce. Let's see, what, what do we got here? We got $1,578,500. Okay, we're selling it. And we deliver the nightclub, and we get $1,848,125 back. Nice, that's a huge bonus there. And now we're going to be moving on to our final business. We're going to be moving on to meth. Those two meth crates have produced. Let's check up on the meth business, see what it's at. Selling meth. Meth is valued at $714,000. That's going to be a $7,140 bonus per player. And we got $927,000 back. We also have the boat mission again. So we got a little bit more money. So let's deposit all of that money in the bank. Look at that. Look at that. $31,800,000. And I also have plenty of money in the bank. So let's add up all of this stuff. We're going to go into our calculations, and we're going to see exactly how much money we made. And, you know, a lot of people, they've been telling me that you are not going to hit a billion dollars this year. That's, that is my goal. Look at this. Look at this giant sale that I've made here. I think I'm going to hit a billion dollars on GT Online this year. Okay, so here we have our calculations for the big sale. So the red represents what we invested, and the green represents the initial price before the bonus, and the, and the yellow represents the final amount. So for the import-export, we sold four top-range cars. This is $20,000 per car. We invested $80,000. We sold it for $399,566. I think we can round that up to $400,000.
For the special crates, I had four special crates. I'm going to estimate around $85,000 invested because I remember one crate I purchased for like $21,000, another one for like $25,000, so around there, somewhere in that range, and it sold for $960,000. So for large crate warehouse number one, we invested $666,000. That is 37 crate missions, and we got three, three crates per mission, 37 missions, three crates per mission, $18,000 per mission. That's $666,000 invested per warehouse. And it sells for $4,040,000. That's double from the regular amount. Sold the first one for $5,505,600. Second one for $5,550,000. Third one for $5,550,000. Fourth one the same. And the fifth one for $5,000,000. $517,047. Did pretty well there. So for the bunker, we invested $375,000 in supplies. That's buying supplies five times. And it was selling for $2,100,000. Bunker was also double money. That is a $21,000 bonus per player. And we sold that for $2,520,000. Hangar sold for $2,550,000. We sold it for $3,000,000. $150,000. Nice. That's a $25,000 bonus as well as a $44,000 bonus per each player with the cargo warehouses. Now let's move on to our other businesses. Moving on to our other businesses here. For document forgery, we invested in one batch of full supplies. One batch of supplies produces about four bars and a quarter with the document forgery. You might still want to get a little bit more supplies there, but about one full batch will produce most of it. So we sold it for $252,000 there. That is a $2,520 bonus per player. And we sold it for a total amount $315,000. For the weed business, we invested in two full, two full batches of supplies. That's $150,000. We sold it for $504,000 there that is a $5,000 bonus per player and it sells for $654,720 with counterfeit cash we invested in two full batches of supplies again $150,000 we were selling it for $588,000 there that's a $5,880 bonus per player and we got $729,120 back and for meth and coke we bought three batches of full supplies but it's basically about two and a half batches of supplies for uh, meth and coke to produce so $225,000 for meth sells for $714,000, that's a $7,140 bonus per player, that sells for $927,300. And for Coke, again, same full three batches of supplies, sells for $840,000, that's an $8,400 bonus per player, and it's sold for $1,033,200, nice, that is almost a $200,000 bonus there. And we also have the nightclub. The nightclub, we sold it for $1,000,000, $578,500. This one we don't have to buy supplies for, it's always producing. And we sold it for $1,848,125. Nice. Now, if we add up everything, everything that we made, we added all up the crate warehouses, the five MC businesses, the nightclub, the hangar, the bunker, also the four top range cars, we get $40,209,678 made. And if we subtract that from $4,695,000, that's all of our investments, everything that we invested, how much we purchased all the supplies for, how much we invested in the crates, buying all the crates, plus upgrading the top range cars, that's 4695000 We subtract that from 40209000 We get a total profit of $35,514,678. This shatters my previous record of about $36 million made in one day. We're now at $40,209,000. I've broken my previous record. So I don't know if this is a world record, if it isn't, it's pretty close there, but this is the largest sale that I've ever made. I don't know if I'm ever going to beat this. The only way I could see myself ever beating this is, is if they do triple money on other businesses. That way I could beat it, or if they add a new business with the casino update, then I could possibly beat it. But this is probably going to be my best record of all time, and I know you guys enjoy these big sales, so I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.